Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 15th, 2023. Well, my goodness, we had an interesting day yesterday with the FOMC making an interesting decision, um, kind of a hawkish pause is what they're calling it. They um, decided to skip um, a rate increase for the month but suggested two more at a minimum may be on the way. One member voted for a full basis point increase, uh, which would be four more 25 basis point increases. So adding some uncertainty and they raised the terminal rate by uh, 50 basis points. So that leaves a lot of uncertainty out there in the market. It created a pretty substantial whipsaw in uh, some of the indexes yesterday while others held up by just a handful of big techs managed to uh, hold up uh, and close green. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Boy, we certainly added some complication to the market yesterday with the Fed decision. Uh, now we have that uncertainty looking forward on the path ahead. So we head into this, this summer trading. Boy, we've got a lot on our plate to try and figure out what comes next here. Yesterday, we saw bond rates increase pretty substantially, increasing that yield curve which is going to add additional pressures to the banks. I'm telling you, uh, we have got a complicated summer ahead of us. If we take a look at the uh, diamonds chart here this morning, well, you can see we had a little bit of pullback here. We pulled um, into the downside here and then we push way down and we tested this price support here yesterday bouncing off of it by the end of the day and pushed up but there was significant volatility in the whipsaw on that move and as you can see this morning we're looking at a little tiny bit of bearishness here this morning so if the bears continue to stay inspired here let's look for a retest of this support level here in the chart if that holds then I think we're in pretty darn good shape because this is a bullish chart. If um, that does not hold, if we were to push down below this area here, well, our next level down in here is probably going to be somewhere into here where we would find our next support level in the chart. That would probably start to raise a little bit of fear in the market. But once again, it doesn't really change all that much of anything. Notice that would be coming down to a test of the 50 day moving average and a big old grouping of moving averages that could potentially provide some support. So although it might be a little bit painful, I don't know that it damages the chart all that much. If we take a look at our um, SPY, SPY, a little teeny tiny reaction yesterday. We whipsawed quite a bit, but ended up closing the day just ever so slightly higher, showing a little bit of bearishness here this morning. So with that uncertainty, if those bears find inspiration, um, I'm gonna suggest maybe a push down into here. And if that holds, we're, we're in great shape. There's nothing wrong at all with this chart. Where we really start to maybe raise a little concern is if we break that, um, this is that big breakout that we had um, in here. If we mess that up and break down below that, well, I would suggest we're gonna come back on down into here. Now, something I didn't do in the diamonds is suggest the, uh, the potential if the bulls find inspiration today. And there's certainly reason that that could be the case uh, if the bulls find inspiration. Then I would look for a retest of these highs up here if the bulls find inspiration and breaking out above there well, as you can see, our next level up in here is probably, well, we're right there at a resistance level. I would say maybe up in here would be um, a chance of that next area of resistance in the chart. Let's jump back here just real quickly on the diamonds because if we find bullish inspiration today, I'm gonna suggest our resistance right up here would be the test that we would have to see if we could break through. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Our QQQ, 
um, obviously the most extended and it really was just about five tech companies that held the QQQ bullish yesterday after that decision. Um, as a matter of fact, there was a report out that only 10 companies account for 100% of the QQQ rally this year. So we have such a massive imbalance here, unless you're trading in just those handful of um, tech sector stocks, there's not much happening here in the NASDAQ. So let's keep a close eye on that. And certainly uh, almost nothing happening in the um, SPY if it's not for the handful of tech so stocks. Now, looking at this, we're pressed against some resistance in this chart. We're pressed right up in here. We saw a little bit of volatility in it yesterday. This morning, we got a tiny little bit of bearishness, which is interesting because Hong Kong last night, uh, their, their tech sector, really surged higher yesterday so kind of interesting but um, pulling back just a little bit this morning with the uncertainty of the data ahead if the bears find inspiration well if you look through here there's not much for support through there until we come all the way back down into here now if that were to occur no technical damage in the chart at all i think we start to get a little bit concerned if we were to break down through here uh, into this area and then the market might get a little bit worried um, not that it changes the trend but maybe just a little bit worried um, if the bulls find inspiration well continue to push if we break this resistance in here in that chart then i'm going to suggest we move up just a touch more maybe right up into this area of the chart here in the qqq so watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM closed the day with kind of a rough candle here, bearish engulfing candle on the day, rejecting that resistance here in the chart. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. If the bears continue to follow through here today and we were to break this support level, then keep in mind, that's a pretty big uh, move down to the next level of price support here in the chart. So if the bears really get going here on the Russell, you can see that could be a bit on the painful side. If the bulls, however, get inspiration melt, maybe a retest of that resistance right in here would be um, um, the possibility. And if they can push through there, well, let's take another shot at breaking out of this resistance in the chart. Interestingly enough, our VIX yesterday went down. We had a day where we rallied up strongly in the market and our VIX went up. Really odd. Yesterday we had so much uncertainty and whipsaw in the market and our VIX went down. It is a bizarre VIX right now because of all of the um, zero today, um, zero two day expiration um, options trading out there has really messed up the VIX. We get very, very weird um, um, readings here in fear. Um, I don't know what this means, uh, honestly. Um, if, if the bulls were to continue to find inspiration today, our next support level is all the way down here. And this is extreme complacency considering we're still raising rates and the fact that our economic data is so poor. But uh, market is the market it's going to do what it wants to do so watch that closely now if the bears were to find inspiration today you would expect that we would push back up we would push back up in here test some of these resistance levels in the chart but this is a very odd circumstance um, seen in the market where there is a complacency level that is pretty extreme here in the market. Everyone is centered in on just a handful of tech stocks and everything is great because of that. And uh, I'm gonna suggest maybe not so much. So be kind of careful. If we take a look at our uh, T2122. Now T2122 yesterday uh, was very um pinned up here near the top side level we talked about there just wasn't a whole lot of room to move to the upside and after the fomc you can see we got a little bit of pullback but oh my goodness we're in right in here around the 80 range of uh, t2122 so even with all that volatility yesterday 
no major damage was done here in T2122. And as a matter of fact, it opened up an opportunity if the bulls find inspiration today that we could rally back to the upside. If the bears find inspiration, I want you to understand that we still have a very big hole here that we could fall into if the bears are inspired today by some of this economic data that we've got coming our direction this morning. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108 held up pretty well, 61, almost 62% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. Considering the fact that the Fed is planning to raise rates and keep those rates higher for longer, um, all the way into 2025 before uh, their uh, forecast is suggesting a cut. Well, my goodness, um, we have an interesting situation here in the market as we continue to get more and more frothy. And remember, anywhere between the 60 range and up here toward that 75 range, we're in a very frothy condition in the market, an overbought condition. So watch that closely. If we take a look at our T2107, same thing is true, but we did get more of a pullback in here. That um, IWM pulling back, having more of an effect here. Um, it looks yesterday, pulling back a little bit, dropping below that 50% area, 48, 49% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. Still holding here above a support, so no worries here at the moment on that. And remember, somewhere over 50 and up into that 65 area, we start getting pretty frothy in the um, T2107. Just an, an overbought circumstance. Uh, maybe a little bit euphoric, a little bit of over-exuberance considering the economic data that we have seen. Now, if the bears were to push this on down and break this support, that's where we could run into a little bit of concern here in the market, pushing that back down. Let's take a look at our T2101. And our T2101 continued in that momentum move, that shift um, that we have that we saw uh, just starting to show us hints of yesterday. Um, followed that momentum where most of the indexes were lower yesterday. Now the question is, will that continue to follow through today or will the bulls find inspiration and reverse that back up? If we take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Well, our economic calendar, hmm, it's going to be a very busy one here today. Um, I think anything is possible here this morning. We've got jobless claims. Jobless claims are expected to decline a little bit over last week. That's not going to make the Fed happy. So kind of keep in mind, it's one of those situations where good news ends up being bad news. So watch that close. Philly Fed manufacturing also expected to decline. Um, in the consensus numbers, keep an eye on that. Retail sales expected to decline in um, the consensus numbers. So um, those three right there coming out at 8.30 this morning definitely can move the market substantially. And if they are uh, not favorable to what the FOMC wants, wants, then we'll have to watch that. Remember, our core, our core inflation is still more than double where the Fed wants it to be. So they're going to continue to pressure the market here. And I think they're going to push things until they finally break something. Um, if we take a look, um, we've also got Empire State Manufacturing. Empire State Manufacturing has been a bearish number for some time. Our manufacturing is clearly in decline. We'll have to see if we get an improvement or if that continues to remain um, in the negatives. Um, import export prices expected to be negative today. Um, <laughs> a lot of bad potential data here that could inspire the bears. It would be really inspirational to the bulls if these numbers are wrong and we see um, increases in those numbers. Then we've got industrial production. Industrial production not expected to do very well here today, so keep an eye on that. Business inventories, natural gas, and then we've got a couple of uh, bond auctions down here at the end of the day with Treasury International and a Fed balance sheet. 
on Friday. Not much here, except we've got a quadruple witching going on here on Friday, which means there could be a lot of gyrating around. There could be a lot of movement in the market as institutions, high frequency firms rebalance things out and um, uh, that creates some sometimes some very odd price action in the market. So be prepared for that. And then we've got our consumer sentiment uh, coming up here as well. You might also want to remember that the 19th, Monday, Monday is Juneteenth and uh, the market will be closed on Monday. So we're going into a three day weekend with this uncertainty ahead. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar. We do have um, just a few notables here today to be paying attention to. Um, we've got Adobe reporting today. Keep an eye on Adobe. Um, looks like we got a little pop and drop going on here in the Adobe pre-market. Watch that closely. We have a JBL, JBL reporting today. Oh, another a gap up and pulling back, but still holding above the highs. So JBL must have had a good number this morning and the market's liking it. Uh, just kind of keep in mind, such a vertical move. You've got to expect some kind of a rest or pullback soon. Uh, Kroger, Kroger, uh, big old pop and drop here in the pre-market. We gapped up big, still holding above yesterday's um, um, open or close. So uh, bullish chart so far, but wow, uh, that's quite an interesting candle in the pre-market here. Let's take a look at our, and, th and that's it for the notables for today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor once again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And also, if you find the video to be useful or helpful, if you could click those thumbs up buttons, leave that brief comment helps the channel to continue to grow. I just want to say thank you so very, very much for all the kind support. Now let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market. I think today could be extraordinarily volatile with the data that we have coming out and that uncertainty that the Fed just dropped on us yesterday. So be careful um, out here in the market. Make sure you've got stop losses in place and all of these charts that I'm going to bring up here may completely shift by the end of the day. So plan carefully, never blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas, follow your personal rules of, uh, of trading. First off, let's take a look at Eli Lilly. I placed a price alert here on Eli Lilly, and this is just really nice consolidation. Boy, Eli Lilly this year has been just hitting on all cylinders. Um, can't seem to make a wrong move here in Eli Lilly right now. Very, very bullish chart. Watch for that opportunity that we could be popping out of this nice little consolidation to the upside on Lilly. Take a look at SQ. One of the members of RWO brought up SQ yesterday and it was trying to get something going until that FOMC came out. I placed a price alert on it. Um, now we're pulling back um, with that uncertainty now going into some of these banks and the pressure on the banks. We'll want to watch that closely. Um, SQ, if it continues to hold this support right through here and holds that trend, we're probably going to be okay. But if that were to break down in here, then this one's off the table for a potential long. If we can hold in this area here and start that bounce back up, then that's exactly the kind of chart I want to look for. So keep an eye on that. Now, DKNG, DKNG, again, uh, those gambling, uh, online gambling is, um, well, everybody loves it. And if you look at this price support in here, um, we're pulling back to that price support. It looked like we had that shot of breaking out yesterday to the upside and that volatility coming in, pushing uh, markets down. And we're going to see that's a pretty big theme um, out here in the market um, right now, because while we had kind of the illusion that everything was recovering and everything was great, 
based on a handful of tech giants. Most of the stocks were struggling yesterday. So take a look at Visa here. Visa continuing to push down and I would be a little bit worried if Visa drops through that support area right in there. I think Visa could set itself up short. So keep a close eye on that. Now, when we take a look at um, our regional banks, regional banks have been moving up in this nice little bullish move and we've been testing this resistance here in the chart to see whether or not we're going to break out. And I would keep a close eye on this bearish engulfing candle left yesterday, but nothing's broken down yet. If the rate increases in the bond uh, changes here that we're seeing um, add some additional pressure. Remember, we're in a very shaky situation here on these regional banks. There is a rating agency that has um, over 300 regional banks on uh, a flagged as potential uh, fault risk. So watch that carefully as those pressures continue to grow with um, uh, the potential of higher rates and bond yields. Watch that carefully. If this starts to falter, there may be some shorts that could come up in that sector. Take a look um, um, in the oil sector. Oil was trying to get something going yesterday. Um, what was interesting is that we saw um, the petroleum status number showing a build in supplies. So a build in supplies would not necessarily suggest that our economy is super strong. We would typically see if we have a strong economy, supplies shrink, meaning we need more oil to supply all the energy and activity going on in the market. We're not seeing that. There was a build in supplies across the board, even as um, we've got cuts in production out of OPEC and Russia and places like that. So watch that closely. Um, we could um, easily see um, that be a bit of a problem here for the market. Now, on the other side of that, we have a weakening dollar. The dollar weakening here, um, pulling back. So as the dollar weakens, that helps support those energy prices. So we've got a little bit of uncertainty in there. So keep an eye on some of those oil sector stocks here in the market. Take a look at this Carvana. Carvana has been on a rocket ship ride, just going, you know, very parabolic here. Probably needs a little rest or consolidation in that chart. Um, if it can um, hold some, excuse me, hold some support right in this area right here, then I think we have an opportunity for more upside. Guys, I apologize. I'm running out of time here this morning, so I'm going to cut this off here. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you all of the best. Be careful. Be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning.